everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Deanna Wilson and I'm back with the story time. I'm back with the story time of the time when my mom's hamster almost escaped in the car while she was driving. Great, right? Just what we wanted when we first buy a hamster. A teddy bear hamster from Petco. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what was gonna happen and I knew it. Enjoy the story time. Oh, and as always, please subscribe to my channel if you are new. Also, please like and comment and also follow my social media down below and I will follow you back because let's be buddies. Why not, you know? Oh, it was a, it was somewhere in July, middle of July. We wanted to get a hamster because I had to put down two of my rats that I love desperate, not desperately, but I love deeply. I had to put them down because they're really sick and they had tumors. But I got three more, so that's great. We go to Petco. We look at the hamsters, and there's only like three hamsters. There's two males. Well, actually, there's like about four or five hamsters. There's like two males or three males, and then two females or three females, two. You know what I mean. We call over my ex that's a worker at Petco. Very nervous to pick it up, but he did. He picked up the hamster. I, I pet the head of the hamster. And I didn't want to hold it because I don't know how to hold a hamster. I never owned a hamster besides a dwarf hamster when I was in the second grade. And that little thing was a, was just fun. It was a sweetheart. All of a sudden after I pet the head of the hamster, it jumps out of his hand. Almost onto me, but I back up and my mom catches it, jumps out of her hand, lands on the floor, starts to charge at my ex. <laughs> making this weird growling noise. If you don't know what a hamster growl is, here it is. I know, weird, right? So it sounded like that, and it was charging at him at the same time, but he picked it up and put it back, and he was like, oh, no, 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 I ain't gonna do that again, I ain't gonna do that again. So then a week passes by. My mom's like, you know, she keeps talking about the hamster. I have a feeling deep down, like she really wants this hamster. She really likes this hamster because she keeps laughing about it, talking about it. She really wants this hamster. She was like, Dee, do you think I should get that hamster that fell um, on the floor at Petco? And I'm like, I'm like half asleep and I'm like, what? What hamster? And she's like, you know the one that fell from your ex's hand? I'm like, oh, right, yeah, right. Um, you want it? You know, like, really? Like, well, I'm just asking if it's a good idea or not because I just feel bad for it. It's like, I think you should get it. I think you should get it. And we go to Petco. The hamster's there. We get her. She almost pushes the box that they put her in um, off the counter because she is a strong hamster for some reason and it's really weird like she's like the uh, the female version of the Hulk she, she's a female version of Hercules like she's pushing that box almost off the counter where you know it's higher than how she fell you know they put her in this really this really lousy box because it's small it's this long legit this long and then from the the width or whatever it's this high and you probably thinking oh that's not so bad but in person it's like damn that hamster couldn't really move in that box you know you couldn't really turn around the way she wanted or anything because you know she was like in that box I thought the box would be fine you know like cuz we only live 20 minutes from home from there the worker assured us that you know everything's gonna be okay as long as we go straight home yeah <laughs> So, I get the hamster from the, the my ex that's checking us out. I'm holding like the bottom and the handle. We get in the car and you know, she's scratching at the box trying to get out. I thought, oh, this is fine because my ham the other hamster that I bought from PetSmart, um, she did the same thing, but then she stops, you know? And she didn't make any dents in it. This hamster was scratching and would not stop. 
My mom, by the time this happened, we were three minutes away from Petco. I was like, oh mom, she's coming up from the flap of the top. Like they should have taped it and I'm holding it down so that she wouldn't come out because she was about to come out. I saw her nose. She's scratching and scratching and scratching and scratching and you know, like trying to find a way out because it's a small box. I'm like, oh my God, mom, I hope she does not escape because I do not feel like having a hamster on me today. She's laughing and she's like, Okay, let's go back, you know, because I'm saying let's go back and get a better box. Like, I'm freaking out. Like, let's go back and get a, get a better box. She's like, okay, okay, whatever. And by the time, we couldn't even do that. Because you know why? Two minutes after I said, let's go back to Petco, hamster chews up at the holes of the box where they can breathe. She's making a hole where she will come out. And I'm like, oh my god, mom. She's coming out. She's gonna come out. Look like there's a hole like a big hole See, My mom's driving like this and she's like reaching back looking reaching back looking and all of a sudden she grabs this Walgreens um, Foot sleep support box big enough to put that carrier box inside that box and then close it and guess what? By the time I did that she came out <gasps> And I was like, oh my god, mom, she's out. I can feel her, like, lifting the top of the other box. And mom's like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're almost home. Um, we're panicking, you know, like, oh my god. All of a sudden, we get home. Everything was fine. Put her in a cage. She was happy. And now, you know, she's happy. And I am going to show you guys the box right here or in the screen because it is very small and yes i took a picture in the hole that she did she did half of it and my mom ripped the other half so imagine the one that's near the corner that's what she did it's funny because me and mom when we opened it to put her in the cage the hamster was looking at us in the carrier box or from the carrier box like what you gonna do now <laughs> what you gonna do now and we put her in the cage so yeah, that's my story. So I'm going to show you the box, which is here. I'm going to show you the hamster that my mom named Monster. So guys, this is the hamster. Say hi, Monster. But we actually named her Sweetie, but her nickname is Monster. So hi. Hi. She's like, I want out. But yeah, this is the hamster. Yeah, that's the hamster and that's the box. Hope you guys enjoyed the story, found it hilarious. I found it hilarious and still do. I mean, there's a reason why there was a box um, big enough to fit the carrier box in the car. There's a reason why mom never cleaned up the car. So everything has a reason. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Also subscribe and please, please follow my Instagram, my Snapchat if you want and yeah so that's it okay bye guys